Scorpio. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to Tessa's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am in Nevada right now. I'm visiting my grandmother in uh, Las Vegas and I am currently in Muddy Mountain Wilderness or at least like in its surroundings. Um, there is a sunset going on behind me. In my previous Libra video, like the sunset was going on behind me and I turned into a complete shadow and you couldn't see my face. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't see the cards. Um, so I was able to kind of figure out how to um, put the light back to focus to focus it more so you can still see me and you can still see the cards while the sunset is going on in the background which is really really bright um so yeah there is a beautiful landscape behind me i really wanted to take advantage of this of the landscape that i'm in currently because i am from chicago i typically do my tarot readings in chicago because of visiting my grandma and like i don't really get to enjoy this kind of weather and this kind of landscape very often being in nature i love being in nature um chicago i live in the city um so very limited and also it doesn't the temperature in chicago is just not like this even when it does get really really hot it's like so humid and so gross right now it's like 105 degrees something like that but it's so dry um i'm like loving it i'm literally loving it uh, so this is my current situation. It is a little windy and the wind might pick up a little bit. Uh, so if my phone falls over, I do apologize in advance. I'm just, it's only going to take a couple seconds for me to fix it. Um, I'm also hanging on to my cards for dear life because I already almost lost a card and I had to grab it. But yeah, so uh, Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for July 2020. So we're going to see what's going on with you guys one by one yeah this video probably won't be more than like 15 minutes long because I am recording it on my phone um I tried to record on my computer but eh, I don't know I felt like my computer was like overheating I don't think that this kind of weather is good for my laptop but I feel like my phone has been working out I feel like it's been working out okay see Ugh, I almost lost this card oh my god <laughs> okay Scorpio, let's get into your reading. Underlying energy, four of pentacles. Um, you're holding on to the things that you have accumulated up until now. Um, your savings, your finances. You're, you're, you're really looking at what you got going on. You're looking at what you got going on. You're looking at where you're at financially. You're looking at where you're at, what, like, what you should save, what you can spend what you can give a little bit, what you need to reevaluate so you can maybe like start a project or whatever the case may be. Um, but I really kind of feel like you're kind of evaluating your situation right now. You're, you know, so you can figure out what the next step is going to be. So you can figure out what, you know, what your next move is um, with all the different changes that are happening in 2020 period. Quarantine, COVID-19, social justice, protests, um, re-election is this year. If you live in the United States, uh, whatever country you might be in, you know what's going on locally, okay? We are very much in a local, we're focusing on what's happening locally, especially because international travel is like almost impossible right now, depending on where you live. We're really looking at things that are happening in our communities, in our cities, um, in our own nation, local. I felt like that thought wanted to keep going, but then I was like, no, that thought is that thought is over. It's finished. Your motivation. See, I have to hang on to these cards. It's getting windy. Motivation. You have the King of Wands. This is Leo, straight Leo. Okay, and all the kings do have the underlying energy of air on top of the um, element of their suit. So you got air and fire here. So this is just like, this is like some passionate go getter. Um, I have an idea, but I don't just have an idea. I have an idea that I am like wholeheartedly like it's like in my heart like very passionate about this is very passionate um inspiring and spiritual kind of energy so i feel like you're being motivated i feel like there's something inside of you there's something there's something inside of you like a, a fire has been lit within you a fire has been lit within you and you are just like how like what am i going to do with this like i like and but this is also very much a leadership kind of energy so you might have this kind of fire within you, this spark within you that is like forcing you, it's kind of like pushing you to become a leader in some in some kind of affair or in some kind of project or some kind of endeavor or something that you're trying to go and do. 
like you're feeling that kind of leadership energy and Scorpios even though you guys are water signs like you guys are leaders in your own right especially because you are so in tune and you're so like deep in those mysteries of life it's kind of like I can't even imagine you wanting people to tell you what to do like I feel like I feel like you want to be the one who tells other people what to do like I don't know I think that that's the best thing for your soul because you feel so much like I don't know like be like having to take in everybody else's energy and like people constantly telling you to do this do this do this I just feel like that's something that would like I don't know I feel like Scorpios you guys are leaders I do what you are feeling discouraged by you have the sun hmm are you guys like afraid to be happy or are you afraid that like once you get once you obtain your happiness it's not like going to be permanent you know it's, be it's because you guys know so much it's because you already you like know the truth and everything it's like you you already know it's like you know the meaning of life it's like I don't know it's almost it's like you think that you won't be happy or that like you won't be able to find god it's beautiful sorry it's just really beautiful um you want to be happy you want to see the sun but it's like you're i don't know you might be afraid or worried that like you're not gonna reach it or something or you're or like it's gonna be temporary. It's like it's like whenever you feel happy, you feel like it kind of just goes away. We're gonna come back to that card, okay? We're gonna come back to that. Let's see what else we got going on here. And your surrounding energy of the Nine of Swords, and the Gemini. This is Mars and Gemini. Yeah, I don't know. You could be feeling kind of down because there's people in your surroundings who are very. There's people in your surroundings or there's this energy in, in your surroundings that's feeling a lot of anxiety. People are really, really like, people are really doing a lot of self-analyzing right now and reflecting and like overthinking things, overthinking what they're feeling, what they're going through, like not able to sleep. Um, and you're probably feeling this in your surroundings. And I think it's affecting you on a personal level. Like, you might be going through that as well. But to be honest, like, Scorpios, I feel like you guys are always going through that. Like, I feel like you're always going through, like, self-transformation. You know, you guys have, you you guys are owned by the planet of Pluto. And Pluto is all about trans transformation, rebirth, death, new life. So it's kind of like you know already how to ride that wave. Ah, see, now there's, like, sweat going into my eyes. My eyes are stinging. You know how to ride that wave. So I feel like uh, this like overthinking is like in your surroundings. And like you are sensitive to other people's energy. So it's like those people's energies are like being becoming part of you. I feel like you guys might be empaths as well. Are you guys Scorpio? Are you an empath? Tell me if you're an empath. I'm an empath. I have my, my moon is in Scorpio and my Pluto is in Scorpio and my Saturn is in Scorpio, but I'm a Sagittarius, mostly, I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, um, but you're like, uh, you're feeling this energy, people, and people really are thinking, people are really, they're in their minds right now, just imagine, I mean, okay, quarantine is not as serious as it was, but let's face it, People are really in their heads right now. Advice. The Empress. Venus. Oh, girl. Or boy. Whatever. Like, ah. Uh, just go take a walk by the lake. Go pick a flower. Pick a flower and put it behind your ear. Like, go do things that, like, fill your heart with joy and make you appreciate and value life it's just like a white screen behind me i was just like wow it's just like a white screen behind me make you appreciate and value life it's all about love and beauty venus the empress this is the divine feminine we are in the divine feminine right now 
uh, the solar eclipse that happened in Cancer, and we're in Cancer. So right now, it's all about the divine feminine. It's all about the divine feminine. All about getting in touch with nature, getting in touch with love, getting in touch with your heart, getting in touch with that compassionate, nurturing, creative, like, mm, you know, just like feeling like warmth inside kind of energy like flowers and like getting in touch with that realign yourself with, with that what, with what makes your heart like beauty beauty um best way to move forward from your worries death this is your card scorpio yeah you know how to ride this wave, Scorpio. You know how to ride that wave. Just sink right into it. Sink into it and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You know it. You know it. Just like feel your heartbeat. Feel like the realness of your human body, of like, of your being. Sounds crazy, but it's true. It's true. Feel the realness of your being, okay? Feel your heartbeat. Just quiet. Maybe something, uh, there might be something in your life that needs to come to an end cut some people off you might have to say goodbye to some people or you just might need some time to yourself or you just need to transform I do see this as you being with yourself with, with that deeper part of yourself with that like human part of yourself the human part that's really what I'm feeling here is being with the human part of yourself feeling your heart feeling your soul Best way to move forward in positive light, you're the hanged man. Yeah. It's okay to be kind of like stuck. Okay, like the hangman represents kind of being stuck. But mm, this is a stuck kind of energy that is trying to look at things from different perspectives. And he can get out of this whenever he wants. And he knows it. He is spiritually aware. It's like he's purposely putting himself in this position. So he can look at things from different perspectives. This is definitely saying to take time for yourself, to really feel yourself, to really lay down, to feel your heartbeat, and then fucking you need to hang your head upside down to the bed just to get some clarity, then that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. start looking at things differently we need to start looking at things differently my limit is 15 minutes i'm at 13 right now final outcome page of wands this is great learning new things student at life it's always 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 good to be a student it's always good to allow yourself to learn new things and this is page of wands all the pages do represent something different all the pages are about learning new things page of wands Creativity, creativity, inspiration, eager and passionate to start new projects, to learn how to take on a new skill with something that you already do. Think about different, pers like, be with yourself, think about different perspectives. Let yourself be inspired. Let yourself be inspired. Start learning something new. Start learning something new. What was your motivation again? Do you remember? Do I have to look? The King of Wands. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, man, 
you guys have that leadership. You, you, you have that leadership energy. You do. Um, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta go through that process that you guys are know how to go through. That you're good at going through. You gotta go through that process, and then you just gotta like, mm, you gotta just like become open again, become open to something, to going after something in a new way, in a new way. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys with that because I'm past my 15 minute mark. Um, I hope that helped you guys. I'll see you next time.